Goodies Outdoors and Adventures. And behind the camera today is Nietzsche. She's also the better half of Goodies Outdoors and Adventures. Goodies is Nietzsche makes all kinds of meals and puts them on YouTube. We do outdoors as far as hunting and videos about game and wildlife. And we also do adventures, which is right now we're in Georgia at the Loud Mine. We're doing metal detecting, we're doing sluicing, we're doing um, river dredging. We have a dredge and a sluice. Yesterday we had a metal detecting event in this big field we're in. And I'm sure there's some leftover goodies out here or some things that didn't get found. And I would like to introduce you to my metal detectors that I use. I use the uh, Equinox 800. This is a relics and a gold metal detector. It detects a wide variety of things. The settings are pretty good about telling you exactly what you're finding once you run your, your detector. And this is great for a wide variety of things. We also use the Equinox Mine Lab. Oh no, this is the Mine Lab Gold Monster. The other one's the Mine Lab 800, Equinox 800. This is the Mine Lab Gold Monster 1000. And uh, we like it because it specifically targets gold more than anything else. This is not good for relics as good as the other Equinox. We also have one today, my son's metal detector, which is the Mini Horde. It's a pretty cool little thing for kids. It's very inexpensive to get started. I got all my equipment from Phil Myers, Myers Metal Detecting in Tampa, Florida. He's, uh, he's a great guy. He does wonderful things about getting you what you want and need. We are a member of the Ross Dutchman Mining Association. We're life members. We can travel across the country and do all kinds of... Uh, gold prospecting, you can go camping and there's rivers and fun. We're up here in Georgia today at the Loud Mine and today we want to show you how we use our metal detector. I'm going to use the Equinox 800. First we're going to power it up and we're going to see if we can't find a treasure before the rain starts. We're going to be going across the country doing all kinds of adventures and stuff. We hope you guys like our videos and want to come along. So now we've got it, the, we've got the metal detector set. We're going to start sweeping the field. Let's see if we can find something in the field. Maybe we left over some stuff from the metal detection contest. You know, sometimes you may just want to dig a target, even if you're not sure what it is. Oh, I think I found something here. There's also a pin for it on the mine lab. Okay, there's a little something here. Let's see what this is. Oh. That's going to have some kind of a metal in it. That's coming up now. Let's see where else we go. That's not this was not our main target. This is a this is a piece of metal laying on top. I hope that's not a target. You see this had two different targets. Okay, it's saying dig right here. So what we're gonna do is get out our you need to have an entrenching tool with you. And we also use our Garrett pointer. It's a pro pointer. This is waterproof. It's a great little tool. We turn it on. It has a loud beeping. It'll beep, beep, beep. And when it has a constant beep, it'll turn into a uh, solid tone. Oh, we're getting something. Sometimes you have to dig a hole. That's my, that's my, let's see if we can, oh, there's something down here. All right, let's dig it up, let's see what we got. When you're metal detecting, you want to dig a, a plug that you can put back in the ground. Oh, there's still something in there. 
That way we can repair the ground. Because if you're on somebody's property and you ask them to go metal detecting, you don't want to tear up your yard or your property. Oh, there's still something down there. I haven't found it yet. Definitely there. Let's see what we find here. I'm going to put all this back the way you find it. Oh, there's something in there. Let's see if we can find what it is. Oh, I think we found it. It's a coin. This is a... This is a dime, I think. Yeah, we got a dime. A Liberty dime. See? Well, there you go. That's an old one. We're 10 cent richer, by the way. So, that's a great one. This is how you want to put your ground back when you're done. You want to let the landowner or the property owner know that you were never there. And that way they'll let you come back and maybe dig again. Or future diggers can come back and dig. And it's a great hobby, but we don't want to ruin it. So, make sure you clean up your mess and do a good job. This weekend, last weekend, we had a, a metal detecting event in this big field, and um, it was hosted by Southern Relics. They're great guys, and we hope to do some more of their events. We're going to start traveling and going across the country. We want you guys to come along with us. We're new, so forgive us if we have poor quality video at the beginning, but uh, we also want to let all the people know at Mine Lab and uh, Garrett and all you other manufacturers with old prospecting equipment that you won't hurt our feelings if you decide to send us something to try out for you on our YouTube videos. And we're going to go back to prospecting this field. Tomorrow and throughout this week we're going to do the dredge, we're going to do uh, our high banker, we have the trumbull, trumbull. We're also going to do more metal detecting. And thank you for joining us for this video. Until we see you again, we hope that you decide you'd like to follow us, like, and share. And uh, we hope to see you guys again.